Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about computer science majors. So, 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 so let's get into it. Uh, so the question in question was, Frederick, what is in your opinion the one thing all computer science majors should know about programming and how is that going to help in a future career? Well, if I can only pick one thing, it is that computer science and learning about algorithms and coding and so forth, these are just tools that you need in order to produce a result, a desired result, or like solve a problem of some sort. That is the thing. So there are a lot of smart people in the world, and there are a lot of stupid smart people as well. And a stupid smart, or like I call them pseudo-intelligent people. A pseudo-intelligent person is a person who has the intelligence to do, to, to, uh, to uh, comprehend certain parts of a problem, but they lack a full understanding of like the bigger perspective or like the like the underlying truths of the thing that they are doing. An example would be uh, my most favorite thing to poke fun at is uh, when I talk with someone who is a little bit sometimes I meet people who are very proud over their academic achievements and in history that is my favorite one where there are people who seem to mis misunderstand that remembering things that are written in a history book is not the same thing as intelligence you're just storing information but you can refer to so many different things through history that you you, you delude yourself in believing that you're smart you're not smart, you've just read a lot of stuff. It's sort of like being proud over that you memorized a phone book. Congratulations. That doesn't actually make you any more valuable than Wikipedia or a phone. But some people think that way. And the same thing goes for a lot of software developers or people go through academia in general. A lot of kids, they go to college and they do that for no other reason than that's how you get a job right. And so you take a course and you sort of like skim through the thing. You don't really actually absorb all that much information. And then you get out on the other side and now you're in depth and you're still dumb as fuck. Because you didn't actually study. You just took the course. And in computer science, guys, I have tons of these. Tons of people, I mean people who have the masters and things like that, where I can't hire this person because they can't solve the problem. They have taken all the courses, but when I ask them about the most basic things, they haven't even taken the time to learn the tools of the trade or like something that is relevant so that I can actually put them to work. They can't do shit. They have a degree that they can, wa they can wipe, their wipe their ass with that. It's going to be very impressive to, you know, their mom or their dad or like people that don't do any coding. But to me, as a person who's doing software development full time and has for years, I can hear when someone knows how to do actual software uh, development and, who, and how like likely they are to pick up the things that they haven't learned in school. And that's very big. It's that that is a very important thing that you have to understand. I like to make the analogy to music. If you go to school to learn how to play the guitar, for example. If that is the only time you play the guitar, well, then you're not going to be all that good at it at the, at the end of the day. Because mastering a instrument like the guitar, or getting really good, or becoming a rock star, or whatever you, you might want, right, is actually something that is more about your personal dedication and your willingness to evolve, to experiment, to do things by yourself. Not because someone is forcing you or giving you a degree or something like that, but because you want to learn how to play this instrument. And the same thing goes for software development, like the coding part, guys, and all the theory and so forth. That is just a preparation that you go through so that you can use those skills to solve problems. And in many cases, that's just part of it you are not going to be a full-fledged software developer when you are done with your education. You're going to be a rookie programmer, a junior level at best. And I promise you, if you only focus on what's being ha what's happening in the courses, you are going to be like the low end, uh, at the lowest end of, uh, I mean, guys, there are situations where I have, we have, I have had to pick between the college student 
and a self-taught developer and I picked the self-taught developer because the self-taught developer had actually gone and took taken the time to understand what tools are necessary like what is sort of ne uh, required for me to in order to build things to make meaningful contributions towards as I said like the problems that we are solving in a, in a real IT company and there that that distinction is so important because academia and like learning theory it is great guys it's very important yes it's a good investment but it's not the whole thing the thing that matters is what can you do with those skills and without being able to do anything meaningful with it oh then you're not actually going to be useful because we have to remember that studying things unless it is for something else is usually just the preparation for doing the thing and so when you realize that it's similar to the again the, mu the music if you learn how to play the guitar well that's just the first part now you learned how to use the tool but now you have to create music if you learn computer science or programming that's just you preparing to be able to use that those skills to make things and to make things in a meaningful way you're gonna have to go the extra mile a little bit here and look at what types of tools are being used in the in the software development space depending on now what you want to do in IT uh, and uh, what other things can I adopt in order to actually use all of my knowledge to produce the end results for companies? What are companies usually doing? What type of applications, application development is happening, etc., etc.? Because a lot of that stuff is going to come down to you learning on your free time, and it's not going to be covered in your uh, courses. Uh, I can basically, I, well, I can promise you that because I've done it myself. So what I want you to take away from this is that the one thing that I want that I would give as a recommendation to all computer science students is that uh, you have to understand that programming and uh, all the things that you are learning in school and so forth is just preparation for you to solve problems. That's all it is. And if you mistake remembering your coursework for being able to produce results, you will fail. I guarantee you that you're going to fail because I've seen many, many, many students in all manner of like everything from people who come from like the nicest schools that you can imagine to people who have like, you know, vocational type of things or so forth uh, to self-taught people who have the same problem. You have to understand that all the courses, all the like books that you're reading and so forth is just so that you get some pre-knowledge so that you can then use that and take it to the next level and actually make things. It's the making of things that matter to the software industry. And you can uh, learn that on your own, you can learn it in school. There are many ways to achieving that goal. So I tr strongly urge you to be, as I call, problem oriented. What is that you're trying to do? Well, you're learning learning things about computer science so that you understand how to write efficient algorithms and efficient code but then you actually have to do the coding you have to go and learn about version control and different programming languages and if you want to do web for example CSS HTML JavaScript all this stuff if that's not covered in your coursework then you have to go and learn it by yourself there is no option here because once you are out of school and you have that degree you can wipe your ass with that degree if you cannot produce the results the company are looking for and that's why you need to know that what they're looking for you can talk to different people in the industry what do I actually need to know and make sure that that part is covered either by the school or you're gonna have to do it by yourself have a great day